as we have already solved the uh, cylinder, uh, the uh, rectangular coordinates, three-dimensional rectangular coordinates. Now we'll be solving three-dimensional cylindrical coordinates. Okay, three-dimensional heat conduction in cylindrical coordinates. So cylindrical coordinates will be r, theta, and z. Okay. So if we talk about, if we talk about now, this is the cylindrical element. Okay. Now this happens to be like this. If you can see this, this happens to be this is an element how actually i'm telling you how we achieve this okay this is r this is the axis okay and it is rotating along this direction x this is rotating along the angle theta okay so we know that the arc length the arc length the length of the arc is actually the length where which it from where it is suspending and into the and the product of the angle which it is subscribing so the the length from where it is hanging it is r and the angle that it is subscribing it is theta so it will be r theta okay now here the angle is d phi okay the angle is d phi so it is r d phi okay so one of the element will be r d phi okay and another one will be dz and another one will be dr so this is the volume in my previous derivation in the rectangular coordinates it was dx dy dz if you can remember okay done so and the on, and on these similar lines on the similar lines we will do this derivation once again so it is heat conducted into the element from all the directions means q uh, if I talk about for, from my previous, it was it will be like qx minus qx plus dx. But here, since uh, the coordinates has changed, so this qx won't remain qx. Okay, it will be something else. It will be qr, q phi, and qz. Okay. Now, plus heat generated within the element, we have already seen it was dx, dy, dz. So here, it will be r d phi, dr, dz. So simple. Okay the volume is this okay is equals to heat stored in the element so again it is delta u so it will be m dot cp delta t by this okay delta time very simple on the similar lines just the coordinates has changed rest everything is same okay so net heat conducted into element from all coordinate directions so heat entering the element through r phi plane in time d theta in time d theta which which i was writing small t they are taking it as theta okay so qz is equals to minus k this is nothing but fourier's law of conduction in cylindrical coordinates so it is qz is equals to minus k r d phi dr del t by del z d theta okay heat leaving from the element through r phi plane in time d theta so it will be qz plus dz okay and you know what is qz plus dz what is qr plus dr and so on okay now the net heat conducted will be subtraction of these two here it is okay so just put just put the fourier's law of conduction inside the formulae okay and what you will get after a bit of solving you will get this okay just a bit of solving you will get this okay so qz is this by fourier's law of conduction so keep qz here qz here and just by little arrangement you will get this the net heat conducted through r phi plane now heat entering in the element through phi z plane in time d theta in phi z plane it will be like qr qr okay so heat leaving from the element so it will be qr plus dr so just apply qr here and qr here and just by little arrangement okay uh, you can actually get the thing but before that what you need to do you need to actually calculate the net heat conducted so this is the net heat conducted as always okay like this so qr minus qr plus dr so after a bit of rearrangement you will get this okay so can you see one thing see here it was qz so del z square is the thickness okay here the r square is there so if you solve it you will have everything as r here okay 
So, this is the uh, important thing. This is the important thing to remember. If you are going wrong, you can check that the thickness has to be of the same plane that you are considering. Okay. Now, heat entering in the, uh, in the element through ZR plane n time d theta. Okay. So, it will be like Q phi is equals to minus k dr dz del t by r del phi. See, del phi it will be the thickness. Okay, d theta is the time, no issues. So, heat leaving from the element zr plane in time d theta will be just q phi plus d phi. So, apply q phi here and here. Okay, and see, you have to take the thickness, the complete dimension. You cannot go for del phi only. No, since the thickness means one of the dimension is r del phi. So, you have to take thickness as r del phi, not the sole delphi, see here, okay, because it was dz there, so we have taken dz, it was dr as one of the dimension, so we have taken dr and r d phi as one of the dimension, so that is why we have taken the complete dimension as the thickness, okay, and then you know as always what you need to do, you need to calculate q phi minus q phi plus d phi, okay, so it will be del and just by simple mathematics, by simple rearrangement, this is the thing that you will get. Okay. Now uh, you have uh, everything. Okay. So net heat conducted into element from all the coordinate directions. Net heat conducted into the element from all the coordinate directions. So what we are actually trying to do? We are actually trying to add up. So it will be like uh, QZ minus QZ plus DZ. Okay. It will be like QR minus q r plus d r and it will be q phi minus q phi plus d phi. We have added everything. Okay, We have added everything and by simple rearrangement, you can actually get this. Okay, So, it is quite simple. It is del square t by del s square and this is the volume. As I have already told you in my first slide, this is the volume, this is the time, this is the k and this is the main important thing that you have derived. But this uh, we are not ending it here. So, the next slide goes like this. Okay, so, heat generated within the element. Heat generated within the element as I have already shown you in my first slide. So, this is the heat generated within the element that is Q into the volume and if it is you know per unit time or if it is in some time, so it is like d theta. You can actually omit d theta from each and every step. Okay, uh, You do not require d theta. Okay, uh, But uh, you can go along with it, it is uh, there is not any harm. So, heat stored in the element, the increase in the internal energy as I have already told you, it is delta u and it is m dot c p delta t, right. And m dot as always as I have already done in my previous slide, it is m dot is equals to density into volume and volume here as we all know r d phi d r d z, same c. Okay. Cp is the specific heat. Okay, Substituting everything. Now, what you need to do is chuck off all these. Okay, K, you can actually divide the K here. See, divide this K by K goes off and here it is and here and we all know that it is like uh, K by, sorry, K by rho Cp once again is alpha. So, here it is 1 by alpha and done. Okay, So, this is the main equation that you need to derive for conduction equation in cylindrical coordinates.